Day two of pursuing the best version of myself for the new year. Today we're creating two lists. One for the things that make you happy and another for the things that make you feel bad. Whenever you're feeling down, check if you might be doing something from the feeling bad list, even if it's something as simple as spending too much time on your phone. This helps you recognize how your actions can affect your emotions and help you take responsibility for your own feelings. And a list of things that make you happy is a great way to reconnect with yourself. Day one of preparing to becoming the best version of myself in 2024. You all should definitely check out this video. It's been a huge source of motivation for me to kickstart my personal development journey. In the video, she shares some tasks to do before the year ends, setting the stage for a successful new year and becoming the best version of yourself. The first day I had to do a self-evaluation, which composes of analyzing your why and each of your actions that you do throughout the day and see which ones don't add value to your life so that you can find a solution. I never lost anybody that I needed because the real ones are still around, even if it's only a few. You see, 2023 taught me to never settle, to fight for the life, the career, the love that I deserve. Because if it doesn't make me happy, make me money, or make me better as an individual, why make time for it? Because I'm no longer convincing anybody to love me, to accept me, or even to respect me. I no longer care about fitting in. I'll sit alone if I have to and I'll build my own table. But I will no longer sacrifice myself just to say that I have a connection with somebody because most of the time it's been one-sided. I give more and they just take. But I'm so proud of myself because even in the darkest of times, I still went towards the light. I showed up and I thugged it out in moments where it was even hard to get up out of bed. Maybe I'm strong. Maybe I'm just numb at this point. Or maybe it's both. But I'm good with that. It's fine. I've been through a lot, but I'm a lot better than what I was yesterday. No matter how big or small the achievement is, a win is a win. And I'm so thankful for these lessons learned. So 2024, it's time to apply it. I'm going to let that sink in. Tastiest 2024 glow up you can ever imagine. Let me put you guys on so that I'll be happy.
that is to have completely changed the matter with me. Start off your morning with the no phone rule. Do not go on your phone at least 30 minutes from the moment you wake up. Instead, replace this with 30 minutes of journaling, writing down your thoughts, ideas, feelings, and scheduling out your day. This is when your conscience is the most impressionable and you have full control of how your day is going to start. Next, we're going to chug a full glass of cold water. You never realize how dehydrated you are until you force yourself to drink it. Next, we're going to get into the ice cream in our face and take in cold showers in the morning. This really wakes you up, increases your endorphins, and provides you with a clear mind for the rest of your day instead of feeding your brain with these brainwashing music and these brainwashing tv shows throw on a motivational podcast put on something that's actually going to strengthen and empower your brain lastly is maintaining a clean environment i know this is a given but it is so crucial your room is a representation of your mind it helps to relieve and prevent unnecessary stress and allow you to think clearly start implementing these healthy habits before the new year and i promise you you'll be unstoppable for 2024